Hi friends, it is Audrey and welcome back to my studio. So I am here today with my first video for Brutus Monroe, uh, where I made this awesome 12 by 12 layout. It's a 12 by 12 mixed media layout, which I, which as you know, I am very into right now. Um, but this is a full page photo layout. Um, I used the uh, the New York, it's a, it's a snow globe, so it's a New York snow globe um, from Bruce Monroe. The Embrace, or I'm sorry, the Antique Trellis stencil. I used this Life is Sweet uh, stamp set because I wanted the congrats on your new job. And one of my favorites, Chroma Glaze. So Chroma Glaze is what you see along here. So without further ado, let's dive into my process and figure out how this came together. Thanks for watching, friends. Okay, friends, so this is going to be really one big experiment for me. Um, hopefully you guys will see this video. Um, but I've got gold chroma glaze and I'm just um, using one of the stencils, I believe this one Take a break and let, I'll let you know what it's called. Antique Trellis. It's from February. Um, on this page, this uh, 12 by 12 photo of myself. This is actually at my old job, but this is going to celebrate my new job. Okay, so. I am not taping it down purposely because I don't want to ruin the picture so I am just very carefully holding it down and spreading the glaze on there sometimes it's hard with this box but I probably just got some underneath Just got some underneath there. Okay, so I would ideally like to put just a little bit on the bottom here. So we're going to move this over here. We're going to throw that stencil down just haphazardly. It is a little messy. I get that. But that's what I like. It's an intentional mess. I'm going to clean off my stencil, let this dry, um, I should have put a paper towel underneath there, but we'll put it over here, let this dry and then I'll meet you back to finish it up. Okay, knee deep in chroma glaze, I realized that I forgot to press record. Alright, so I thought the best way to bring it together to start with would be to um, put one of these chroma glaze uh, 
embrace stencils on here. So I did that. Um, you, if you want a, while you're watching the beginning of the video to see how it all came together, um, and I'm going to let this dry, and then once it's dry, I'll come back and finish this up. But this, you'll see, okay, so this is going to tie this all in together here. Um, so that should, that should help bring this in together and then um, I'll put my journaling up here and then I'll probably connect it with some hearts or some something like that so um, so let me let this dry and I'll meet you back here when it's dry in just a few seconds the magic of video okay let's finish this up so I pulled some uh, wood veneer from my stash and I really love this word awesome which will help pull it together so I'm definitely putting that in there um, because I'm wearing a Harry Potter mask I gotta throw some Harry Potter in there so I have some leftover Harry Potter embellishments here and I think I'm going to do this little guy. Okay. And then I pulled out some hearts. So here are the hearts. I actually pulled out three different types, but I think I'm going to pass on these ones. And pass on these because I like the idea of the cork. Alright, I think that's it. I am going to... Oh, you know what? Hold on. Alright, yeah, that's perfect. And I'm going to put a little bit of writing of journaling over there so I'm gonna go ahead and get these down okay there you go that's it and for those of you who don't know this is Barley. She's my cat and she often is, she's my muse and she often um, hangs out with me here in the craft room. Um, sometimes she, oops, she's going to sit on this. Sometimes she even uh, kicks embellishments or um, paint or something into the into place and it, it makes a, a beautiful layout. So without further ado, thank you for watching from me and Barley. Um, have a wonderful, wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.